Maendeleo Private Health Center in Munigi, a transit camp for internally displaced people in the Democratic Republic of Congo's Nyiragongo territory, is overwhelmed. The UN says fighting since March between the military and M23 movement rebels in North Kivu province has forced about 390,000 people to flee, with 182,000 living in IDP camps, almost all of them in Nyiragongo. Dr. Jacques Mohungu says the number of patients they see each day has tripled. Here is our stock. There is nothing here. We do not know how to supply ourselves. As you see, it is empty. We have no more needles. Tomorrow, if they come, we don't know how to supply ourselves. With few resources, displaced people who need treatment are often not able to pay for it. Within Zainabo fled clashes in her village of Kibumba three months ago with her husband and four children. Her husband got lost in the chaos. She has not been able to contact him and doesn't know if he's still alive. When I came here, I was shaking. I was weak, and I think it was malaria. My knees were hurting, and I could not walk. I have no means to pay for health care. The doctor himself will know how to help us. The Congolese government says it is providing free health care for the IDPs, but health authorities in North Kivu say the need is too great. Certain nous avons reçu des appuis du gouvernement provincial. Although we have received support from the government, the little that they are able to provide is not enough to cover all the needs. The best thing is to stop the hostilities and allow these people to return to their homes. These talks in Nairobi this month built on a ceasefire agreed in Angola late November between the DRC and Rwanda, which Kinshasa accuses of supporting the rebels and which it denies. M23 rebels who were not invited to the talks announced Tuesday they would begin withdrawing from territories they seize in the fighting and would uphold the truce. The Angola brokered ceasefire had lasted just one week, with both sides blaming the other and civilians caught in the middle. Ruth Omar Esther for VOA News, Goma, Democratic Republic of Congo.